Well, hello, everybody, and welcome back to G-Bears Off-Grid Ways, a homestead in the desert. And excuse me one second while I put up my uh, gate here. I am in the container, but I want to make sure the dogs don't come in and knock anything over. They cut off my video short yesterday by jumping up and uh, hitting the right spot on the phone. So hold on. Or did I call that just in time? Susie Q came over to the the door just as I was putting the gate up. All right, so what are we looking at? Well, this is an old experiment, and it's one of the ones that you would find in my electrical experiments and stuff. Um, what do they call that? Playlist. Yeah. So let's get to it. This won't take very long. I've done this before, but I wanted to show you exactly for the new people that have signed on. Haven't seen this yet, and to save you the trouble of trying to look it up and go back to it, I did this one way back when I was uh, living in the city in Orange County, and uh, uh, it's, it's buried somewhere in there in the uh, playlist, but you can find it if you look it up. There's quite a few others in there that you might like to look at. All right, let's get started here. So what are we looking at? First of all, let me see if I can get this in a little closer so that I don't trip over any of the legs. And we're going to start all the way on this end. So these are doorbell transformers. This side, the black, the white, and the ground. The black is your hot, the white is a neutral. And the ground, of course, is ground. On this side is where your regular house power would, would go in. Then on this side, there's two screws. And what this thing does, this transformer transforms 120 volts AC to 24 volts DC, if I'm not mistaken, it's 24 volts. Oh, let's see. Line 124 volts. Well, you know what? It doesn't say on there. But, take my word for it, I'm pretty sure it's 24 volts DC. And that's to ring your doorbell. Okay? And that's so that uh, you won't get electrocuted if you play with your doorbell inside. Anyway, <laughs> so I got these uh, doorbell transformers set up here. And inside of these, all it is is a couple of coils of wire. One heavier wire than the other one, which... Uh, um, inverts the electricity to a lower voltage or a higher voltage depending on which way you go. So we're going this way. <clears throat> now here we're going to start with the first black wire which would be your hot wire for AC. Then we're going to take the white wire and connect it to the black wire going to the second transformer. And remember that's series when you hook positive to negative, positive to negative, positive to negative. And in this case, it's neutral to positive, neutral to positive. But uh, <clears throat> terminology aside, so we're taking the first one right here, and we're leaving the black wire to one side. We're taking the white wire and hooking it to the black wire of the second one. Then we're taking the white wire of the second one, and we're hooking it to the black wire of the third one. Then we'll take the white wire of the third one and see it wire nutted there. It goes to the black wire of the, the fourth one. And then the same thing from the four, fourth one, white wire right here to the black wire. Let me get you in the frame here. White wire to the black wire of the fifth one right here. And then we'll take the white wire off the fifth one and go to the black wire of the sixth one. Okay, so now we got three and three. Now over here I have the motor from the bathroom fan. This is uh, what powers the fan blade in your bathroom fan. And I'll show you 
here's another one with the fan blade on it. Okay, so this is the same thing as that. And this one just, uh, I kept the fan blade on there because I use this sometimes for cooling off parts after, I, after I've worked on them. But next, okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take three of them, three of the transformers, and put them side by side on this side of the motor. One, two, three. Okay, and they're just touching each other. Okay, there's, there's no actual connection from this to the motor, as you can see. It was just put, button them up against there. And we're going to do the same thing on this side. One, two, and three. Okay, so now we got all six, three on each side of the motor. Now, of course, I can't plug this motor in to the wall right there because it's too short. So, for experimental purposes, I made up this little extension cord. This is, these are my two test cords, my uh, male end test cord and my female end test cord that I use for when I'm um, working at a house. And I could also use the female one as a uh, power outlet from the circuit panel so I don't have to run an extension cord inside the house if I'm working on something that I need electrical for. So what we're going to do is take this one and plug it in right up here to the wall. Outlet. All right. Now I got the other end right here. And we're going to take the motor and plug that in right there. Now you can hear the motor just started up right here. You hear the change in the hum when I touch it. All right, next, we're going to get my cute little Kiwitz multimeter out and turn it on. I remember I told you this Kiwitz multimeter, I did a review on it, and it's on auto. So it automatically determines what you're going to be checking. So I got the black wire on this side from the first transformer. Okay, and I'm going to hit that with the red wire. And then the white wire from this transformer, I'm going to hit that one with the negative. And look at that, we got 56.13 volts AC. Now let me see if I can move that up a little bit so you can see the AC. Oops. Okay, see right in... Uh, come on. Okay, 56.3, 56.7 volts. And it's AC. You can see that where it says true RMS. Right above it, it says AC, just before the 5. So that's alternating current coming out of there. That's the, the high voltage side of the transformer. So 56 volts coming out of there. And you say to yourself, okay, so what's that prove? Well, first of all, it's called induct induction. So we're doing magnetic induction. What we're doing is we're collecting the magnetic field off of the motor and it, these coils, the uh, wire coils inside of here, are acting like antennas, and they're catching the, that electrical um, field that's coming off, the radiation field that's coming off the motor, and they're running through the coils backwards and coming out as AC power on this side. Now, if I actually did connections on the other side, I'd get DC power coming out over there. So... Let's go down a little bit here. And you say, well, what good is that? Well, you remember, I was, let me get my meter out of the way. We don't need that anymore and shut it off. Okay, you remember the, um, the LED strips that I use to show you that they can collect, um, solar power 
outside. So here I taped this end together just so that the wires would be easier to access. Let me get that down to where you can see the wiring. Okay, so on this side, we're going to take the white wire out because that's going to go to the white. Now remember, these LEDs are set up for AC voltage. So they're, they're designed for 120 volts. So we're going to take the black wire and see if I can get it over here and connect it to the red and the white wire to the white. And I don't know if you can see it. You see the lights come on? They're red colored LEDs. Okay. They say, what good is that? Well, lighting the lights is free electricity. It's not using any electricity from the wall. It's absorbing it. That's normally just going out into the air. It's picking it up by the antennas and creating electricity to light the lights. So, in effect, if you set up your, the wiring in your bathroom of your house to where, uh, let me unplug this so we don't have to listen to the motor hum. And I don't want to run my electric bill off. <laughs> anyway, if you um, set up your, your wiring in your house, in your bathroom, to where the bathroom fan is, and you took some of these transformers, or just made yourself one big transformer, or whatever you could do, um, with wire coils, and put it up against the fan motor, then you could disconnect the electrical, AC electrical wiring going to your bathroom light. So now when you go in the bathroom and you're going to take a shower or you're going to do your business or whatever, and you want to turn on the bathroom fan and lights, you flip one switch, the bathroom fan comes on and the lights come on because they're wired to, to collect the electricity off of the, the fan motor. So you're not paying for electricity for lighting. You're only paying for it to run the bathroom fan. So your lighting would be free. Isn't that a pretty cool idea? Well, anyway, that's the little experiment that I had for today. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and share this with some friends. Say, hey, check this out. This guy plays around with electricity. <laughs> Thanks for joining me. This is G-Bear signing off.